Good morning and welcome to Live Life Yoga Trapeze. Happy to have you here once again. Today we're going to round two, part two of trimming down your waist. So let's begin. We're going to start warming up our body. Without that, we don't exercise. So again, remember, if you, depending upon your knees, how you are. So we're jogging on the spot, and then you can increase it. Good morning, Heidi. She's back from her walk. And for people who have knee issues, we just got to go one, kick the butt, two, three. And we're going to do this for 10 minutes, but not in the video. So inhale, hands going up. Slight arch on your back. Coming down to that forward fold of yours. And gently coming. So see, wherever you can reach, gently coming back up. And then from here, we're coming up. And coming up to our downward dog. So inhale, hands going up. Meeting at heart center. From here, taking up to the left leg in front. Warrior one. Coming back, pushing the hands down and coming to work, coming to your downward dog. So in here, if your heels don't touch, we can put in the little blanket, the support or the block. So for the moment, we are just using the blanket. So you can nicely make a thing to support your heel. And hands under your shoulders. Breathe in here and from here we're going to do chin to chest to push the hips out and we're going to be here basically for 10 minutes. So let's begin by just few breaths in here. Three, two, one. Gently coming back down, coming to your knees. From here you're going to come up to a sitting. So when you're doing your downward dog at home, you're going to do it for exactly five to ten minutes. You're going to come with the legs wide apart or in here. We in India call it the chakki. So take your belly right in. This is one. You can inhale, breathe in, extend and coming down. This is one. Or you can go level two. Inhale, breathe in, coming down. So in this again, six to ten rounds on each level. And if you think you can go wider, super cool, stretching up your inner thighs. And then from here, inhale, coming in, extend, coming back. So we're going to do six of these and then coming back, inhale, coming in, <coughs> extend. So choose your level that you need. You can be in here and then again, go back. Be kind, extend. So we're going to do six on each side. And the last one, we change sides again. Inhale, breathe in. Take a nice big stretch. Coming down all the way. And then from here, last one on this side. And you can even support your knee either with the blanket again or with the bolster. So you can keep the blanket in here for your knees. And now we're going to come to a lying down pose. So from here, we're going to come to lying down. First, we're going to take a deep stretch. Inhale, breathe in. And then from here, we're going to come to a bridge. So heels very close to your bums. And from here, inhale, lift up as slow as possible, giving space to each vertebrae. And then from here, stay there for four, three, two, one. Gently coming down. And then once again, as you make your rounds and your body warmer, you can extend it, push the butt up, get your heels closer, and then opening up your shoulders, opening up your intestines from here, feeling the pressure on your thighs, your calves, and gently coming down, giving space to your vertebrae. Coming down once again. So at home, you're supposed to do it for 15 times. Inhale and expand again. And gently coming down. From here, just sway your hips to the left, to the right. And gently hug your knees. 
from here, we go to lift the legs up and make nice big circle around for 10. But here we're going to do 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now to the other side, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Gently come and hug your knees once again. And from here, we're coming to our wheel. So we're going to come, take the wheel support if need be. And from here, we're going to push ourselves going up. Inhale, breathe in. Relax your body. And then from here, I'll need more space stitch. <laughs> Pushing your hips up and staying up. And from here, we'll do intense breathing. Pointing the toes towards your face. And then once, if you need the wheel support, push the wheel around in the middle of your back and support it. And then as gently as possible, Start rolling your legs down. You could be here anywhere. Just find yourself comfort in your body and see for where you can reach. You can slowly start getting it towards your ears, the knees towards your ears. Be here or gently going down. And then gently coming up. So see if you can keep your knees straight. If not, you can always get it towards your ears. So once again, inhale, breathe in. And gently start rolling back, keeping your knees straight if possible. And if you are here, it's good. And gently rolling back once again. And gently coming back up. And slowly moving the wheel away. Being very cautious. Reconnecting your body. And from here, we're going to end the practice with Kapal Bharti. So we go to deep inhalations, deep exhalations with the belly. Okay? So we can do five to ten rounds, but for here, I'll just do six. And breathe in and begin. First inhale and exhale normally and begin. And slowly coming back in. So from here, breathe in, breathe out, the belly going in and out. Breathe in, breathe out. And then gently relaxing, keeping your spine straight. And then from here, Gently inhale, hands going up, meeting at heart center. Thanking you for your practice. Keep this going on. Be disciplined and you'll surely see the difference. Take care. Om Shanti Shanti Om.